Have a night, Aaron Nola. <laughs>
I tell you what, I mean, Hoskins had a good night, too. I mean, he was unbelievable last night, too. So, you know, two hits, you know, one run scorer, obviously. So, great job out of Reese Hoskins. Keep up the good work. Bryce Harper, one for two, uh, three walks and one strikeout. Um, obviously, that one strikeout was on a net. You know, that nasty slider was in the dirt. Uh, that was just, shoof, man, that was a good pitch. I mean, my gosh, he, he looked full. Harper looked foolish on that. But you know what? Patrick Corman's a good pitcher. We all we all know how good his slider is, and it's just unbelievable. And Harper has always had. Yeah, you know, I remember that last year. I remember we faced the Nationals a few times, and I remember you know Corbin was on the mound. Harper would always struggle uh, with Corbin. Um, but uh, now he got a nice line drive single to center field last night. So that's nice. That's nice to see out of Harper. JT obviously he's been struggling a little bit. Uh, goes one for three, uh, one RBI, two walks, and this one a strikeout. Got, obviously got that RBI single that scored Hoskins. Gene Segura, who was swinging a hot bat, you know, cools off a little bit last night. Uh, 0 for 3, two walks. Uh, Didi Gregorius, one for one for five, one run scored, one strikeout. Uh, as I said, he's been having himself a pretty good year. Phil Gosson, 0 for two, uh, got the start in left field. Then we got uh, Jay Bruce, who uh, came into pinching. He goes 0 for two, one run scored, one strikeout. Uh, and obviously, he hit a home run yesterday or two days ago now, and obviously he was, just came back from the D, uh, from the IL. Adam Hazley, uh, you know, was able to also play left field last night. Didn't get a plate appearance. Uh, Alec Bohm, uh, who's been obviously been struggling a little bit. He had a good night last night. So he went yard, uh, two for four, two runs scored, two RBI. I guess his average up to 291. Uh, he's been great. Uh, Roman Quinn, the fastest player in baseball, goes 0 for four with one strikeout. Uh, now we look at Aaron Nola last night. Let's take a look at his line. Eight innings pitched, two hits, three walks, and nine strikeouts. Nine strikeouts, two hits. So unbelievable, unbelievable. Aaron Nola was amazing last night. Gets his ERA docked down to two point four five, and his his record on the year is now two and uh, excuse me four and two. Uh, so he's been great. Uh, obviously he had a really really rough start in Atlanta. Uh, you know that was a little while ago now. It's been about probably about two weeks now. Uh, had that really really rough start in Atlanta. He went like two and two thirds, but ever since then he's been great. Hector Neros in inning, two hits, one strikeout. Um, you know, it is what it is. As I said before, it's we, it's a situation where you could use Hector Neros because it's a win-win situation. Because we're already up, you know, six nothing. Why not just use him? This is a perfect time to use him. Joe Girardi made the right move there by bringing him in. I mean, why not use him there? Um, I love that yeah, he did that. You know, because Hector Neros has been struggling, and I know he gave up two hits last night, but at least didn't get up. Didn't get none of our pitchers gave up a run last night. We you know pitched a shutout, so. Noel and Neris did their job. I mean, especially Noel. I mean, Noel was fantastic last night. He looked great. He really, really did look great. And you go over and look at the Nationals, you know, Juan Soto goes over 3 1 walk. I mean, a lot of Trey Turner, red hot Trey Turner, over 3 1 walk. Um, a lot of these guys who, you know, really, really hurt us, we were able to shut them down last night. We, we really, really were. And um, our guys just continue to swing a hot bat. I mean, um, that's what I love. I can't wait for. Hoskins, Harper, and Muto all to be out at the same time because it's going to happen uh, at some point. I mean, today's September the 2nd, um, so, you know, game 31, this, uh, that was, uh, game 31 is yesterday, obviously game uh, 32 is today, so, you know, obviously officially more than halfway through the season, so, you know, hopefully we can see that. I think we will. I really, really think we will. So, player of the game, Philly's has a player of the game, I got to give it to Aaron Nola. Uh, eight innings, uh, as I said, two hits, three walks, nine strikeouts. A masterful performance, pitches a shutout. Um, you know, obviously doesn't get the complete game. Girardi didn't let him do that, but he was unbelievable. And obviously, we pitch a shutout. You know, Dr. Neris goes in the you know, last inning, you know, ninth inning, and does his job as well. So, um, we love to see it, man. I, I'm really, really pleased with the performance of this team last night. Um, even Harper getting on base three times as well. So, we were good last night. We were really, really looking good against this Washington Nationals team who is struggling, but. It's never easy to beat them because they always have just beat us in the past. And obviously, uh, tonight we're going against Max Scherzer, 3-1 and one with a 3.86 ERA. That's going to be tough, man. I mean, we were able to hit Corbin last night. Obviously, last time we went to D.C., obviously before last time, obviously, we were going to face Scherzer that final game, a three-game series. But even before then, you know, in that, first, in that like, I believe that was like our first preseason game back after the whole shutdown. Remember that first game in D.C.? That was a spring, it was like a spring training game. Back in uh, July, excuse me, not June, July, we um, faced Scherzer and we totally lit him up. Harper hit a home run. I, I know that was a preseason game, but 
we destroyed them. Hopefully they will see that again. I'd love to see Harper go deep here in the series. He, hit, he got a single last night. I really want to see him hit a home run against the Nationals. Yeah, I love that. I love when player, former, like, players hit home runs against their former teams. I think it's like awesome. Zach Wheeler on the mound uh, tonight for us, 3-0 with a 2.5 ERA. He's been great this year. As I said, talk about the one-two punch, Nolan Wheeler. It's something really, really special. And then, obviously, tomorrow afternoon, Annabelle Sanchez, 1-4 with a 6.90 ERA. He's struggling this year going against Zach Eflin, 2-1 with a 4.10 ERA. And um, Nats report, um, Ted, I mean, I'm sure, I don't know if he's watching this video or not, but he's going to be joining the video cast tomorrow uh, as a guest, uh, recapping uh, the final game of the series, 4-5, or five, the first pitch. Um, you know, I'm sorry about getting these videos out, like, you know, in the morning, like, the next day. I'm just, I'm so tired, guys. Like, I'm so busy during my day, and I'm so tired at night. I just, I'm, I'm just not going to have any energy to really do it and get fiery. So, great win out of the Phillies last night. Aaron Nola, as I said, eight innings, two hits, three walks, nine strikeouts. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 7-5, of five, the first pitch. Max Scherzer going at Zach Wheeler. Let's go, Phillies. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I am Luke, and I'll talk to you all later. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn on the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Please check out the social media link in the description section at Philly's House of Instagram, our Heart Fanatics Instagram. Call or text 267-225-3392. Email me at Philly's House of, Philly's House of at gmail.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am Luke, and I will talk to you all later. Let's go Philly, Serger versus Wheeler. 705, the first pitch. I'll talk to you all later. See you.